Hey guys, what is going on? Welcome to another episode. Today I'm going to be taking a trip to my local tackle shop to pick out some new items. After this last trip, I lost um, a bunch of my terminal tackle and I got to looking at my box and realized that a lot of my stuff is either short or I'm out of. So today I have some uh, extra money that I've saved up over the last week or so and um, I'm going to be taking a trip to my tackle store and uh, kind of going to load up uh, back on some uh, key items that I need in my box. So uh, I'm going to bring you all along with me. It's going to be a fun trip going to English Pro Tackle yet again. And uh, I think I'm going to get a new box, um, one of those Bass Mafia boxes, and then uh, load up on some new terminal tackles. So stay tuned. I'm going to bring you all along with me and uh, show you all what I get. So stay tuned. Again, it's just going to be a short video um, showing you all kind of what I get and bringing you all along with me. So uh, hope you all enjoy. Okay, guys, just left the store. Uh, Got a new uh, box for it all. We've got a bunch of hooks and terminal tackle and stuff. Uh, got some tungsten, jig heads, uh, all kinds of stuff. So I'm going to wait till I get home and then open it up and show you all exactly what I got. Okay, guys, just got home. Um, here's everything laid out. I got a Bass Mafia uh, box. It's the 3700 size. Oops, knocking my hooks off. Um, I needed one of these. Just for the fact that the quality is insane, they're indestructible, and uh, they'll last me a long time. So, I needed something to keep all my terminal tackle in. Um, they're good investments, they're like 27 bucks a piece, but um, I personally think it's worth it. keeps your stuff um, rust-free, and uh, a ton of storage compartments, and uh, just a true quality um, storage tackle box. But uh, here's all my old stuff, that's my old terminal tackle box, so... Uh, Big upgrade going from the old point of watertight ones to the Bass Mafia ones. Uh, just look at what I got. Uh, to start off, some 3 aught owners, J-hooks, um, smaller craws, stuff like that. Uh, maybe some smaller beaver, beaver style baits. Here's um, some owner 3 aught. These are more of a round bend. Um, those are called the J-hook model. These are rigging hooks. Um, more of a round bend to them. I don't know if you can see that or not. Uh, versus the uh, more sharp edged um, J hook style. And then I got some more uh, Wide Gap Plus um, and 4 aught. Those are for Carolina rigs and stuff like that. Big, uh, big lizards, brush hogs, um, big flipping beaver baits, uh, stuff like that. Then these are my favorite warm hooks. For lizards and stuff like that. The Gamakatsu G-Lock Worm. Uh, I love these hooks. Um, really good for being weedless. I got them in 5 aught. Um, these are small hooks comparatively. Um, those look like a 4 aught, um, not a 5 aught. They're pretty pretty small, but anyways, anything I'll be flipping uh, more in the uh, straight profile. Um, these are they're super weedless. I don't know if you can see the end of that hook. Uh, kind of tucks back down. It's super easy to rig this bait 100% um, weedless just for the fact that that hook design right there um, makes the, the hook easy to tuck back into the plastic um, after you pull it out the back side. Um, for drop shotting in brush and cover, um, I got these uh, owner uh, down, sh down shot offset hooks. Um, they're good drop shot hooks for Texas rigging your worms so uh, you can fish a drop shot but keep it more weedless and um, bring it through cover a little bit easier um, than your standard drop shot hooks. Then I uh, got a couple more um, drop shot or split shot hooks and size 4. Um, I like super small hooks so uh, I got those. Moving on to weights I got some uh, tungstens 3 16th ounce. I got three of them in green uh, five and quarter ounce in green, and two and five sixteenth ounce in green. Also, uh, some miscellaneous stuff. Uh, I got some rattling uh, two heads and one eighth ounce. Um, I don't have any of these kind of uh, tube hooks, so I wanted to pick some up. And then a uh, Strike King Six XD in clear water minnow. Um, I needed a deep hard bait uh, coming up, so that's what I got that for. Anyways, uh, thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this was just supposed to be a short video, just a quick tackle shop. Um, 
stopped, needed some extra tackle, and I uh, wanted to redo my terminal tackle box, so uh, I had to pick some things up. Thank you guys so much for watching. Again, this was not supposed to be a fun and exciting video. Just just an update kind of video. Um, a visit to my local tackle shop. So stay tuned to my channel. Hope you guys enjoy. Please give this video a thumbs up if you enjoy these style of videos. And uh, subscribe if you're already not. And uh, we'll catch you all next time. Thank you guys so much for watching.